So it's been a while since this first came out, early September. I was actually traveling then in Italy and Germany, so I missed the boat, but finally have a bottle. It's here, fucking fabulous. We're gonna go ahead and do our first impressions. I opened it up, but I didn't smell it yet. We're gonna pop it in here. It's a five mil uh, with a little um, pipette. And we're gonna do our first impressions, plus I'm gonna go ahead and give this five mil decant that I'm gonna do the first impressions with to a subscriber of this channel. So we're gonna do that all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on this channel and or you've been watching videos here for quite some time now and still haven't subscribed, please subscribe with the button below and click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, it is fucking fabulous time. I hope it's gonna be fucking fabulous because it says fucking fabulous right there. So uh, as I said earlier, I was traveling in Italy when this made its debut and I think a lot of people were talking about it. I think it's kind of died down now, but I placed an order at Neiman Marcus for this and um, Everybody's being so like like uptight about this fragrance. I don't understand. Like uh, at Nima Marcos, they can't say it. They can't put it out. They won't display it. But they're like, oh, hey, guess what? I've got the fragrance. I can get it for you. Like they're not even like displaying it for public <laughs> consumption of it. But they're like, okay, secretly calling you like they're your pimp or something and asking if you want to pick up a bottle. So I did a blind buy with this. I had not smelled it. And I decided to go ahead and do the large flacon right here. So Neiman Marcus was having a gift card event where you sort of spend a certain amount of money and you get like a gift card for it. And uh, the gift card event said that there was uh, beauty and fragrances including or included. And my associate said, no, Tom Ford's not included. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. It says any fragrance or uh, whatever. So I had to kind of fight for it and I finally decided or they finally decided to go ahead and honor that um, gift card event. So the problem was you have to spend a thousand dollars to make a three hundred dollar gift card. So this is eight hundred ten dollars right here. I'm sorry this is eight hundred and four dollars. It's the 250 mil uh, decanter flacon. Um, so I had to add a few more hundred dollars on top of that to get the three hundred dollar gift card event. If you don't know about this this happens um, via email. They usually only prefer you do it via email, but uh, because the sales, uh, the stores like to have sales, they'll honor it for you if you show it to them. So if you didn't know about this, subscribe to Neiman Marcus and get on their mailing list because the $300 gift card for a $1,000 purchase is a pretty damn good uh, deal. So this is uh, a 2017 launch. I don't find any nose information or perfumer information. As I said, this is a 250 mil uh, decanter flacon. It comes in a box like this and the, the 250 mil flacon sits in there and it is $804 so it's quite pricey, really pricey actually. This is Eau de Parfum concentration. And there is a 50 mil version, 50 mil, 50 mil bottle version for $310. So if you do your math, you're saving a lot with the, the decanter flacon. And of course, if the, once the juice is out, this beautiful bottle, I mean, this will probably be a collector item. And um, I'm, I, from what I hear, this is a limited edition, but there's also a rumor that they're gonna add it to the collection. I, I really don't know who to, who to believe and the sales associates don't really know either. And uh, so, but once, going back to Neiman Marcus again, I was in Dallas recently and I went to the Neiman Marcus in uh, downtown Dallas and I was asking for fucking fabulous and they were shocked that I even would even say that. It's just like they're acting really uh, like, uh, like uptight about it. But I mean, it is a bad word. Hey, yes, it's, it's a bad word. And, um, but it's, it's right there, it says it. I mean, Everybody uses it. I mean, we hear it constantly in songs and in movies and things like that. So, I mean, it's kind of become normal to use this word uh, currently. I mean, I don't use it that much, but sometimes when you say the word fabulous, you, you like to add something in, in addition to it or at the beginning of it. So fucking fabulous sounds awesome to say rather than just say fabulous, you know? So I, li I, like, I like the name, but... Uh, 
it's pretty daring for them to call it fucking fabulous. And if you've been following Tom Ford fragrances, you know they're kind of ris they take a lot of risky uh, chances. They do a lot of risque ads and things like that. So I can see why they would do this. But this is a first for any brand to do something like this because uh, I've never seen them uh, any brands use the word fucking or anything kind of like uh, uh, crude or you know naughty or anything like that. So this is a first. It is an Estee Lauder owned company and I'm not even sure if the, the woman, Estee Lauder, who started Estee Lauder uh, would even um, want to associate any products that they have in their brand with that, you know, with that title or, or that wording. So it's very, very uh, hip and cool to do something like this, but then it's a bit tacky too. So anyway, that's beyond uh, the name and everything. For notes here, what we've got, I got notes from uh, Fragrantica and Parfumo, they're a little different. So on Fragrantica, it says Tonka Bean, Bitter Almond, Oris, Clary Sage, Cashmere, and Leather. And in Parfumo, it says Bitter Almond, Tonka Bean, Leather, Iris, Cashmere, and Clary Sage. So they're turned around a little bit. So um, well, let's go ahead and decant this, as I said, into this little 5 mil, and we'll spray it from here. And we're going to give this 5 mil to a, a subscriber of this channel so that you get to sample it as well because let's see how it is I mean, is it worth eight hundred and four dollars for a 250 mil but you know what then again this is a regular price for their upper scale private collection fragrances like neroli portofino uh, forte is in this price bracket as well so they're pricier like oudwood intense would probably be in this price bracket um, the uh, regular lineup is like just under seven hundred dollars as a two hundred and fifty mil. So they're pricey fragrances. So let's go ahead and decant this. I'm hoping I'm going to like this because I love Tonka Bean. And here it is. I'm filling it up. And could be the fact that Tonka Bean's been popular lately. And uh, but you know what? I'm I'm not smelling much Tonka Bean here. It's very leathery. Kind of reminds me of Tuscan leather, but let's go ahead and spray it without jumping to any conclusions. Um, Sorry, I didn't find lights. I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> anyway, so um, I got a little bit on my hand. I'm picking up a little lavender of all things. Um, wow, I can pick up the Tonka bean. Um, let's spray it now. Two sprays. Yes, there's Tonka Bean. There's actually, I'm picking up more almond than Tonka Bean here. Um, I'm picking up almost like lavender, but I think it's the Clary Sage. Okay, yes, it's a calm. Okay, here's what I'm getting with this one. It's taking things I like, like Tonka uh, Imperial from Guerlain. It's, it's, it smells kind of like that. Feb Delicios. Not so much the chocolate part, maybe even like something herbal. Like it's kind of reminding me of uh, Tom Ford's lavender palm. I think that's what it was called, discontinued, which I hated. Even though I love lavender, I hated lavender palm, lavender or lavender palm because it kind of was like oily on me, like it's gloppy. So I didn't really care for it, but it's kind of reminding me of that a little bit. So basically uh, with a lot of leather, like, the leather is kind of big here, like almost like Tuscan leather. So maybe that what they've done is taken Tuscan leather, some tonka bean and almonds, and added it to like a lavender palm, like kind of a fragrance they have sitting around. So, I mean, it's very herbal. Like upon uh, the first spray, it was very kind of buttery almondy, but that clary sage herbal note is really kicking in with, um, with the leather. So I'm not sure if it's fucking fabulous, to be honest with you, but I like it. I don't hate it. Now, we did a recent thing uh, in the city here called Sniffing Around Town. We go around the uh, various perfume shops and sniff, and one of the guys there, Chris, sorry, I'm not going to agree with you. You mentioned that you thought this was kind of like a fragrance from House of Sillage or House of Sillage. Little bit. I'm getting a little bit of similarities with that one, but this one's a lot herbal, whereas that one to me smells a little more like a mishmash of notes where I can't really distinguish what the notes are. But here I'm, I'm, I'm able to distinguish definitely the almonds, 
little bit of tonka bean, lots of leather, little bit of iris, and the cashmere is also also very, very little, and the clary sage is really big. So for me, this is all about leather, clary sage, and bitter almond, with tonka bean playing more of a background uh, pl a player type of a, a note, with iris and cashmere, and also even further in the background. I mean, I don't hate this, but I kind of like it, actually. Um, T Tuscan leather, it's, 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 it's really like almost like taking Tuscan le leather and putting it in a different direction to me. That's what it is mostly because the leather is very, very identical to Tuscan leather to me. And it's the typical Tom Ford Tuscan leather kind of leather accord that they have most likely that they're using here. But it reminds me of that with the almonds and tonka bean with the, um, clary sage. So those are the prominent notes. Those are the, those are what's standing out for me. And I, not sure it's fucking fabulous, but maybe it's fabulous. I mean, I'm not even sure it's really fabulous, but I'm not hating it. I, I, I'm liking it. So I would call this a leather fragrance. It's definitely not a tonka bean. I thought perhaps what they were doing here with this one is maybe because Feb Delicios by uh, Dior is so popular, maybe they perhaps they thought, okay, we're going to do our own version of this fragrance, but that's definitely not what they've done here. This is more leather. It's, it's an almondy leather with clary sage, very herbal quality. So I like it. I mean, I don't hate it, but is it going to be a winner for them? I mean, it's pretty popular. People are talking about it and uh, people like the name fucking fabulous. Do you like the name fucking fabulous guys? Now, if you've tried this, do you think it's fucking fabulous or do you think it's just fabulous? Or do you think it's not even fabulous? It's just a snooze fest. Uh, let me know uh, what your thoughts are on this fragrance. Um, I think pretty much what they've done here, the marketing department for Tom Ford is pretty much got us from <laughs> a place where we really are wanting products from them and they, they, they release things like this to get our attention and for us to like seek after it. They make it limited edition. They make it hard to find. They make it hard to get. And we're like craving for it because it makes it so hard to get. And that's exactly what I did here. I was like, okay, I got to I got to smell it because when I was in various department stores while I was in Europe, when this had just launched, people were telling me, yeah, they smell that it. it's only available at this department store. So I wasn't able to do it. So this was, like I said, complete blind buy, but I'm not impressed, but I'm not hating it. I kind of like it. And the fact that I don't love, Tuscan leather as much as other leather fragrances. I like this one more than Tuscan leather, which, which is an awesome thing. And you gotta love the name, okay? Fucking fabulous. That's that's pretty cool. Even though it's not really fucking fabulous, the name is kind of cool. Even though Estee Lauder is probably turning in her grave right now where Tom Ford has released a fragrance called Fucking Fabulous. So guys, let me know your thoughts on Fucking Fabulous. Do you like this fragrance? Do you hate it? Do you not want to even try it because of the name, but you're really excited to try it, but you can't? Let me know your thoughts, what you think about it. What is your favorite Tom Ford fragrance, by the way? Or have you uh, not even tried Tom Ford fragrances? Uh, we're speaking about the private blend collection actually here. So let me know your thoughts. Please put down comments so we can get a conversation started. Also, as I said, this is going to be uh, somebody's decant, a subscriber here. So if you're curious about it and you're wanting to try it and you haven't, or you haven't even tried Tom Ford, but you've been wanting to, this could be your first one, or, or it could be your 10th one or whatever if you've been trying a lot of them, put down a comment below and let me know what your favorite fucking fabulous fragrance is. Also, please put down your state. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this worldwide. This is a worldwide giveaway. Uh, I'm going to do that for, for everyone because I haven't done one as myself as a worldwide. So put down your country and put, please put down uh, what your f fucking fabulous favorite fragrance is. And so we'll get a uh, randomizer and select the, the one lucky subscriber to win this five mil decant. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this uh, first impressions review video for fucking fabulous from Tom Ford, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.